Hello friends, we'll be discussing the concept of assumptions of production function. Now that we have already understood what are the types of production function, there are certain assumptions that we do in economics. Economics is full of assumptions, hence this production function will also have certain assumptions. Let us understand what are those. The analysis of production function gives you the assumptions that are briefly listed below. What are those? First, perfect divisibility of both input and output. We assume that both input and output can be perfectly divided. Limited sustainability of one of the factors for the others as labor and capital are imperfect substitutes. We understand or rather we assume that there is a limited sustainability of certain factors of production as labor and capital are imperfect substitutes. You cannot replace labor and capital. That is what we assume here. Next is the level of technology remains constant. We assume that the level of technology what we had in 1990 is the same thing that we are assuming here nothing like that it may change or it has changed a lot hence the assumption goes wrong but still we assume this the level firm or rather the firm uses its input at maximum level it relates to particular unit of time we assume that whatever inputs we are using we are using it to the maximum efficiency again this is an assumption and the last one refers to a change in any of the variable factor produces a corresponding change in the level of output so whatever variable factor if they are changing there is a change in the level of output this is what we assume it may stand still also these are general assumptions on the basis of which a production function is constructed so these are the basic assumptions that we have studied right now based on which a general production function is constructed so these are the things these are the assumptions that you need to understand whenever you have to apply any kind of production functions you need to see that if these assumptions are a part of that or not so this is all that we can explain when it comes to assumptions of production function. Thank you.